Okay, if you started App Inventor with the Logo 1 template, this is what you should be looking at. I've renamed my project Logo 1, and I'm showing you the Blocks view, Blocks Editor. And remember that with the app, as it's given in the template, if you tap the Draw button, it reports that it doesn't know how to draw yet. And you're going to replace this with your algorithms. And notice that you can use the button, so I'm going to go forward five times. I'm going to turn right and go forward five times. I'm going to go right. I'm going to pick up the pen and go forward five times and you'll see it moves without drawing. If I turn right again and go down and go forward five times, it draws another line. If I hide the turtle, it looks like that. So by using the basic commands forward, right, up or down, show or hide, you can um, draw various shapes. To get us started, I'm going to go over to the Blocks Editor now. I'm going to write a procedure to draw a square. I'm going to actually just put it right in here. One note is you've got all these blocks that you shouldn't really touch. And these are the procedures over here that implement our logo command. So for example, here's what the forward looks like. It's got quite a bit of math. It's quite a complex procedure. The nice part about procedural abstraction is you don't need to worry about it. Similarly, for the turn procedure, it also involves using uh, modulus operators and so on. You can just use these procedures by calling them in your algorithm. So, okay, so given that, let's write an algorithm to draw a square of size 20 on each side. So I'm going to go to my procedures. And I'm going to go forward twice, because each time I go forward, it moves 10 pixels. Then I'm going to turn right. So I'm going to turn. I can turn only by 90 degree angle. Then I'm going to go forward again. I'm going to copy that twice more. I'm going to turn again. I'm going to go forward again twice more. I'm going to turn again. Uh, so that's one, two, three. I've got to go forward twice more and turn again. The last turn is to put the Android back in its original position. Okay, now that I've created that procedure, if I now touch the draw button, you can see it's drawn a little square. And if I hide the Android, you can see it a little better. All right, but let me show you something else. There's a lot of repetition here, right? And we haven't talked much about loops, but this is a perfect place to use a loop in our program. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to first create a procedure and put my algorithm into the procedure. Since this is going to be a square of side 20, I'm going to name my procedure square 20. Okay. Basically, I need to repeat these operations going forward twice and turning four times. So instead of copying and pasting that chunk of blocks, that sequence of blocks, let's use a loop. And we have this nice counting loop block. What this block does is it says for each number between 1 and 5 inclusive, count by 1. This will repeat 5 times. For a square, I just want to repeat 4 times. So I just want to count from 1 to 4 by 1s. And what I want to do each time I count is I want to do those commands. Okay? Look at the difference between this algorithm and the original one we had. This is quite a lot simpler to express and even clearer to understand. So now all I have to do to draw that square is I need to call the procedure I just wrote from the button draw dot click handler. So I'm going to reset and now I'm going to draw again and then hide. And you see I get exactly the same square I had last time, only now with much simpler algorithm using the repeat block. What you're going to be doing in the activities in this lesson is creating procedures such as this and calling them from the button draw dot click block to draw the various shapes that are part of the exercises. So I'm going to leave it here and let you work on that.